In this video, we show our DC testing method for the buzz bars on this new MV switchboard installation. We're going to access the buzz bars via this end cubicle with the truck removed, having first ensured that all the instrumentation, including the buzz bar VTs, have been disconnected. This is the test set we'll be using. First, we need to prove that the buzz bars are dead. For that, we use this single point of contact test stick. After proving its operation, we open the buzz bar shutter and we check each phase in turn. The neon indicator does not light, proving that the system is dead. And finally, we just reprove the instrument again so we know the test is successful. Right, time to set up the test set. This is the earth discharge stick that has a resistor mounted onto the end of it. We have a number of test sequences already programmed into this instrument for different applications and we'll be conducting a four step DC bus bar test. First using our low voltage meter, we just check there's no instrumentation still connected between the phases or the phases down to earth. And then we prepare for the first of the tests. This is a reference test, it's a 1000 volt DC test. We connect all the phases together and we measure between the phases and the earth connection. So once we're happy that we're set for one KV, duration of one minute, we start the test up. The test set runs through a startup sequence before applying the one KV. The timer automatically times down and we'll stop the test after the one minute is up. These are the connections showing the earth connections onto the main earth bar within the switch gear. Once the test has wound down to zero, it checks it against the parameters we set to see if the test was successful. So that's the reference test done. Now it's time to set up for the first major DC test, which is 10.5 kV. We've connected phases L1 and L2 together as the positive connection, and we've put a connection in from L3 down to the earth. Start the instrument up. This is a 15 minute test. It applies a low voltage to start with to make sure the system is clear before ramping it up to the set point 10.5 kV. Again, this times down from the 15 minutes and when it reaches zero, it checks to see if the results are acceptable, which they are. The test set is designed to internally discharge the circuit, but we always check using the earth probe just to make sure. So after discharging, we then move the connections from the L1 and L2 to L2 and L3, which we're going to apply the positive voltage on. And we're going to connect an earth connection onto the L1 terminal. So that's the earth connected. Just need to tell the instrument we're doing different phases, part of the next test. Once we're happy, we start the test off again. Okay, after the 15 minutes is up, the instrument shuts down and records the results. Now the final test, step four, we do a one minute, one KV DC test again. We phases L1, L2 and L3 connected together. Right, that has successfully completed this test. Hope you found this video of interest. If you did, please subscribe to see more from the industrial electrical environment.